If we go to our back office, on the left hand side, you should see the new options meals here. And if you open it, it will be pretty empty, like here. After clicking add a meal, you will see something like that. Probably this list will be lower. I have the demo account, so there is some kind of trash information. But you need to set the ready-made sizes. So we have the list of meals, but it is also connected with the ready-made sizes and the matrix of sizes. And what it is, I have here quite good example of the ready-made portion sizes. Many big companies with few hundred orders daily or a few thousand orders daily have some fixed uh, meal sizes. For example, they have only one size of breakfast, one size of snack, three sizes of main meals and uh, one size of snack PM and two sizes of dinner, for example. Thanks of that, the production is easy, easier and uh, you can still meet the different daily portion sizes if you think uh, flexible. And I have the good uh, examples here. So there is, for example, the breakfast in three portion sizes, snack in two, lunch in three, snack in two, dinner in three. And what kind of portion, daily portion sizes you can build with this meal portion sizes. And what is important here, the naming of the meal, meals, meal sizes are mm, up to you. So you can name them as you want and the portion sizes can be different also. So it is really crucial to design it in good way. We recommend to make the breakfast 200, 400 and maybe 600 as well and snack AM 200, 400, lunch 400, 600, 800, snack PM 200, 400 and uh, dinner like that. Thanks of that you have a big flexibility. Of course you can uh, create less different portion sizes but it will give you a huge flexibility. But what is important here? In the option number one, you have the S portion size, which not the same. So for example, lunch, lunch in S can be 400 calories, but breakfast 200. In M, lunch has 600 calories, breakfast has 400 calories. In L, it has 600, it has 800. So this is the option number one. I prefer the option number two when I always in S small portion size I have 200, in M I have 400, in L I have 600 and in extra large I have 800. But as you can see not all meals are available in each portion sizes and it is better for me. But then in the, all the reports I will know uh, the S is 200 and so on. So it is good to design it and make decision on your end. If you make that, you can start designing that in the software. So let's go back to our uh, add a meal website. So once again, I was on the meal list. I'm adding a meal. I have the quite empty matrix here. So this is my five meals I would like to uh, fill. So I need to click the manage portion sizes. And right now I should create the portion sizes which I will have. So for me, it will be the Okay. And now I have all portion sizes and I will go to my, go back to my meals, refresh the website. And as you can see, my matrix have the columns. So I have the rows and the columns. And right now I need to fill the calorific portion sizes for this matrix. To do that, I need to click manage meal types and I will sort it in the right way. And if I go to the breakfast, I need to click to edit mode and feel that it will be available in small, medium and large portion size. And I will put here and 600 and save. And I should fill all the meals. Now, when all my meals are ready, I need to go to my meal details page and refresh that. And I can check my matrix. And I believe that it is quite similar to the Excel sheet. I have it here on the second screen. And uh, yeah, it is exactly what I want to build. Right now, I have the matrix ready. I need to do it once. And what I can do, I can start creating my meal, but I can 
connect the smart rigs with the right uh, meal plan. <clears throat> so similar as here, if we have this matrix ready, I can connect the right portion sizes in the right calorific values like here. When I do that once, then if I add the additional meals, it will automatically connect and fill all the meal plans. Let's take a look. To do that, I need to go to my meal plans list. For example, muscle gain. I need to start from my variants, full day, for example. And if I go to the very bottom, I have the meal portion sizes matrix here. And I have 1,200, 1,500, 1,800 and 2,000. Not exactly what I had in Excel sheet, but let's fill that. And uh, for that, I need to choose the breakfast. 200, snack I am 200, lunch 400, snack 200 and the dinner 200. Here, okay, it has the green color because it is uh, plus or minus 10% to my color value shown here. And let's take, uh, let's fill the rest. Okay, all my portion sizes are ready. It is green, looks correct. I can save that. And then I should fill the rest of my variants. I can make it easier because now I can go to the bottom, click edit, and I can copy that from the uh, different variants and if I have similar calorific value it will be copied. I just need to align it a little bit so it will be much easier and much faster for the next variants. Let's go to my meals once again and now I can add my meal. I am clicking add a meal and I will create the sandwich with chicken. I can add the description, meal code, I can add the separated photo for the customer and separated for the kitchen so it is quite uh, big news and i can of course add the um, tags i can add some additional note and there is a big thing i can use automatical calculation for the nutritional values or many companies ask for that i can put the macros uh, by, uh, by hand manually. So if I choose this one, I can add the ingredients manually and allergens and macros as well. I will show how to create one meal that way and that way. So st let's start from the automatical creation. Now I should choose that this sandwich will be available, for example, for breakfast, but also for lunch and the dinner in all available portion sizes. And let's save it. Now I have my meal description. I can ch check my meal portion sizes and which is already empty of course and I can go to my meal recipe and I can create the meal recipe similar like in the meal plans uh, till now. So I'm adding the ingredients right now. Find an ingredient. I will choose some graham roll here. and I can add the recipe. Okay, grilled chicken will be good. And what I should do right now, I can uh, of course add additional ingredients or recipes, but I should balance it to the right calorific value. And what is here important, I have this toggle turn on automatically recalculate the weights for all portion sizes what means that software automatically when I am playing here change the portion sizes for that so let's change the calorific value and there is one piece once again save okay I have 200 and I have 400 here and 600 here and similar for dinner 200 400 600 and the same for lunch 400 600 and 800 for extra large so of course it doesn't make sense here but it is just the example so uh, now i can add my packages and it can be different for each, each portion sizes for example or it can be the same for all portion sizes like here and uh, that's it i have the meal with the automatical uh, macros and now let's create similar meal but with the manual macros i 
I am choosing complete meal ingredients and nutritional values by hand and I am choosing breakfast, lunch and dinner. I can put here what I want to show to my clients and for example gluten here in allergens. And let's go forward now what I and what is the difference I don't see the tab with the recipe I have only meal portion sizes here and I can fill them by hand so I can go to breakfast and I can set that it has 200 calories of course I can fill all the rest value, uh, micronutrients and save that and I can similar fill that for the rest of the portion sizes like here so I can fill that and I will have the manually created all the portion sizes I will choose the chamber here save and that's it I have two meals one with the automatic calculation and the second one with the manual calculation so let's create quickly the menu in the menu area I have the new option here I can create the new kind of menu when I will create the meals I will choose the meals from ready-made list or I can create the old one uh, menu when I will create the menus directly in the um, the meals directly in the menu so I will choose the new one save and I have the brand new menu it looks totally different I can customize the view I can show more or less details and uh, I am adding the breakfast here I will choose the automatic one and uh, I can choose if I would like to add it to all calorific values and if I would like to choose the matrix I've already created or manually assign. Let's go forward and as you can see it takes the calorific values from the matrix, it looks good, add a meal and that's it. I have meal added to all portion sizes based on my matrix and right now I can add here the manually created one and as you can see it looks similar so I can add on the same meal plan the, the meals with manually created macros and the one with the automatically created macros and similar for the rest of the uh, meals I can add the same sandwich of course and the portions are different so looks pretty handy I think so so I believe this is this are the most important information about the meal list and the new simplified uh, menus so I hope that it will be really useful and will help you to grow your meal prep company see you in the next video bye